You will own nothing and you will be happy and you will not question anything. Welcome to the future of video games, movies, and television. Doesn't it sound glorious? It sounds pretty terrible, and I know almost everyone watching this video will agree with me. Well, unfortunately, for a lot of users out there, they're already seeing uh, the results of this disastrous future, and not a lot of people are talking about it. Not a lot of big gaming sites are talking about it. The IGNs and the Kotakus of the world aren't really talking about this, but they're really, really set on taking up and de defending the name of Sweet Baby Inc. so that they could continue to disrespect gamers from all over the world. But this story going around needs to be highlighted. And I saw a comment on a video I was watching, and uh, I agreed with this comment, and it was about this particular topic. And it basically said that if digital purchases don't equal ownership, then piracy doesn't equal theft. I thought that was perfectly stated. Not sure if that's the first time it's been said. I'm sure it's been said a lot, but it's a very good comment. And it's the first time it had really kind of, I've seen that out there put across in just such a direct way. And I really wanted to repeat that. So if, if digital purchases do not equal ownership, then piracy does not equal theft. Very well said. PlayStation 5 owners lose access to hundreds of games as digital purchases wiped from their accounts. That is not a good scenario right there. A strange bug is removing people's games on PlayStation 4, 5, and Vita, and Sony doesn't have a fix for it. Now, again, at the time of me recording this video, Sony has not had an update that I could find, so I just want to put that out there. It wasn't long ago that PlayStation sparked fan outrage when it said it would remove Discovery Video content from people's libraries, even though they had paid for it. PlayStation later backtracked, but a similar unintentional issue has now come up. A random bug that's wiping digital games from people's libraries. The bug is affecting PlayStation 4, 5, and PlayStation Vita, and fans are certainly not happy about it. At least 50 PlayStation owners have reported that their digital games are going missing. One affected by the bug went to Reddit to explain what's going on and vent their frustration that they can no longer access some of their games in a post that has attracted others with the same problem. For the last few months, there has been a bug impacting a relatively small amount of PlayStation Network users uh, in which digital license, including purchased games and titles added to one's library via PlayStation Plus, uh, become decoupled from your transaction history, which shows you purchased those things. The bug wipes games from your account, and to make it worse, uh, that if you're affected by the bug, you can't re-download the missing games, as your PlayStation Network won't let you. I'm never buying digital again. Um, let's see, I'm never buying a digital game from PlayStation again. Horrible customer support and terrible practices towards their customers. Um, another poster pleaded for answers as they've lost access to 400 games after trying to restore them once the bug hit their account. Adding, I'm a PlayStation user since PlayStation 3, and this account uh, bug is really bad. I hope Sony and PlayStation give a solution. And if there's someone that knows how to resolve this huge issue, please let us know. Um, this user became aware of the bug when they tried to launch Helldivers 2, but got an error message, uh, CE-117773-6. They then tried to restore license in their account settings, which wiped their library. They advised against trying to restore the license as they, be they believe that's what triggered the bug in the first place. PlayStation has yet to comment on the issue publicly, but is aware of it. Uh, Metro has reached out to Sony for comment. And again, at the time of me recording this video, there is no update. Now, we also have this story over from uh, the Gaming Bible. It says PlayStation gamers reportedly losing access to purchased games uh, via very serious bug. And again, this is the digital future right here. And this is a massive problem. Like, I, I hate it. I hate it because... All of this stuff tied to your account, and if your account gets banned for hate speech, which essentially just means saying something mean, and then you get false flagged or whatever, um, you can lose everything, and that, that should not be, that, under no circumstance is that right. Under no circumstance is that right. I hate modern gaming. I hate the future that we're heading towards, um, and I don't see any way that it's going to stop. I mean, m m like most people, 
um, we all hate the digital gaming aspect of it, but they force you into it by making things early via early access or, uh, you know, all this other bullshit, the ways that they try to force people to play these games early. And if you don't play the game early and you're behind, I hate it. Um, now we're waiting to see is like the next PlayStation and Xbox not going to have a disc drive on it. That is a very real possibility. Time will tell. And of course, I think that it will have the long-term negative effects on the gaming world, long-term. But I think in the short run, it feels like we're heading right down this path and it's not seeming that anything is going to stop it right now. I hope more stories um, get highlighted when people are experiencing issues like this. Um, but as I said, like a lot of the bigger sites, I, I have, again, if I'm wrong, maybe they have covered it. I looked because I was wanting to talk, go through their articles to see if they're covering it, but I haven't seen anything on it yet. And again, we don't know. Um, we don't know what is going to happen here. Again, this is a, it seems to be a relatively small issue from a small, uh, number of users, but it doesn't matter if it's happening to a few people it can happen to you. It can happen to me. It can happen to so many people out there, and it is a huge problem. Digital media sucks. The idea of it sucks because they can alter. They can change. They can literally, the game you purchase, the game you purchase, they can just change it like that with an update. You, you turn your game off. You go to bed. Somebody gets fake offended uh, online for something. They get a you know a bot campaign and they start getting retweets, and all of a sudden, the developer freaks out, panics, changes the game, and you never have access to access to it again. That is terrifying, and we've seen this before. We've seen this many times where they've done this. They've changed things because it was updated for modern audiences. Uh, or some weirdo got offended over it and they've changed it. It is a terrible, terrible future that we are heading towards with all of this. Has anybody that's watched this video experienced this? Let me know in the comments below. I appreciate you guys. I hope everybody's having a great time. Um, check out geeksandgamers.com. I'm sure we're going to have an article on this in the very near future. Have a great day and we will talk to you later.